two was good. It is currently 5.53 in the morning. As you can see, I'm doing a bit of cardio right here. That's the cardio getting the day started. Uh, today is my day off, so I'm in here a little later. I usually do my cardio at 5.15 in the morning. So as you see, we're pretty much an hour behind, close to an hour behind, but we can't be because it's my day off. So I'm going to finish up this cardio, throw some abs in there as well, and uh, we'll get this day going. Alright guys, let me explain some of the supplements that I take first thing in the morning. So right now, during fasted cardio, I'm doing the BCAAs, the Extend. This is a, a very good tasting BCAA. It contains 7 grams of BCAAs. This is my first time trying it out this prep, and I'm enjoying it so far. Check the ingredients, no calories, azure leucine, your glutamine, and really real basic stuff, but definitely necessary ingredients to have inside your BCAAs. So pretty much for me, it's all about the recovery, maintaining the muscle growth, and uh, replenishing those electrolytes. During my fasted cardio sessions, I will always be sipping on some BCAAs. And also in the morning, first thing in the morning when I first wake up, I take three weight loss uh, capsules. So it's called Quadrilene. It's actually my first time using this as well. And so it's pretty much a stimulant free weight loss um, additive. It'll help you out with your weight loss. It has your carinol in it, which is your CLA. It has some carnitine in it. it has the garcinia extract in it. And I can't speak on whether or not it's the best thing but I'm trying it out so we will see uh, it's pretty much 50 servings so it's gonna last me quite some time and I've been taking it for about a week now although the scale has not been moving I am getting leaner so I'm not really too focused on what the scale reads off these weight loss pills should help in certain areas so we will see and also for the protein uh, right now I got this biochem protein that I picked up at Whole Foods I was in Atlanta, Florida working and I just went to Whole Foods and I had to pick up some protein. And this is what they had, which was actually a good price and it was decent, uh, soy, soy free. It's pretty decent, you know, it's not bad, it's chocolate, 20 grams of protein. So I take about three of these protein shakes a day because, I mean, it has a small amount of protein. You normally see your proteins having like one scoop, we have 25 grams. Well, with this, two scoops is 20 grams, so not a lot of protein, but it is good. So. Post fasted cardio, I take a protein shake. Post workout, I take a protein shake. And sometimes before bed, I take a protein shake. So about three a day, it's easily digestible. So having no problems digesting it. I'm also taking the creatine, but I do the creatine pre and post workout when I'm lifting weights. So I don't mess around with it for fasted cardio. Only mess around with the creatine around my weightlifting sessions. And it's nothing serious, not, nothing too crazy, it's just your regular GNC brand creatine. Alright guys, so we're back from the grocery store. Had to pick up a few things. It's crazy because I was out of pretty much every single food item you could think of. I have not eaten breakfast and it is now 11.23. I woke up at 5.45 today and still haven't eaten. So anyways, had to go to the grocery store, pick up some things before I get on on my meals. So let me show you guys real quick quick grocery haul what I pick up what I usually pick up and this all only ran me about 47 to 48 dollars I shop at the commissary which is on base because I'm military but I'm pretty sure if you went to Walmart you could probably stay under the $50 limit as well so let me just show you guys what we picked up so for the protein items of course we got the egg whites I eat egg whites every single morning and I always throw in at least one or two yolks so I would do two whole eggs and maybe four to five egg whites. So that's how I'm getting in the protein. And I usually throw in some deli meat to scramble up with the eggs and just give it a little more taste. Uh, it tastes real good. You will see a lot of guys stray away from the deli meat because of the sodium, but I really don't focus too much on that as of right now. 
So for the fats, peanut butter and almonds, that's my go-to. I eat about maybe three to four servings of almonds every day and mainly throw in the peanut butter on my sweet potatoes at night time. So that is a must. So these are my fats that I'm getting in. Also the tilapia, I'm throwing in the fish at my last meal of the day usually. It's usually the tilapia with the sweet potatoes, which you see right there. And um, you got the sweet potatoes, peanut butter, and tilapia. And these are my veggies right here. So I usually do the California blend. And what I do for my vegetables is I broil them. So I throw them on a nice laid out uh, flat pan and throw a little olive oil on them, season them up a little bit. And then I throw them in the oven and broil them. So I usually get the 10 minute success brown rice where I can throw it in the pot, uh, let it boil for about 10 minutes, but they didn't have that, which is not a bad thing because the bagged rice is cheaper right here. So 55 cent per bag. It takes a little longer. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to cook up some brown rice, but that's okay. Like I said, we're saving money. So, so these are my carb choices, sweet potatoes, brown rice, and of course the oats. So I usually do maybe two cups a day, possibly, pre-workout and uh, sometimes post-workout. And then when I need extra carbs, I just throw that in as well. So these are pretty much my only carb sources uh, on this diet right now. These are the only veggies I'm messing around with right now. These are the only protein I'm messing with. And I also do my chicken. So what I do is I purchase my chicken in bulk and I give it to my, my boy uh, at Dozen Mills. You've probably seen him on Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. But uh, pretty much he just preps my chicken for me, man. He grills it up, uh, he hooks it up. And so I don't cook my chicken on my own anymore because I just get tired of eating the way I prep the chicken, which is just pan searing it. So he hooks it up for me. So you don't see any chicken right here because he already hooked me up. So all I had to pick up was these quick items and also some more coffee. I usually do about a cup and a half a day. So this is just some normal old coffee. I don't get too specific with my coffee. They all taste the same. I'm doing it black these days though. I do have the stevia, which I throw in my oats. I throw the stevia in my oats. I don't put it in my coffee anymore because I'm cutting back on the artificial sweeteners. But I still put it in my oats and I normally put it in my green tea. So at nighttime before bed, I always get a cup of green tea. And that's just for metabolism purposes. Green tea and honey every night and it's been going pretty well. So, there you, there you go, you see what I picked up from the store, just real quick items, $50 budget. So for meal one, there we go, we got about four egg whites and two whole eggs with two ounces of ham. I always throw ketchup on my eggs. No, I don't try to ketchup, but it's usually just a little, small little portion. 12 almonds and of course I'm gonna have my two fish oils and my multivitamin. So meal one is gonna run me about 390, 390 to 400 calories. And of course I got the princess in the background making all of this noise. You see daddy on YouTube right now. Now you on YouTube, see? I was trying to keep you away. Go ahead, blow him a kiss. Blow him a kiss. Blow him a kiss right here. Blow him a kiss. So here we have it, seven ounces of lemon pepper grilled chicken. And this is how your vegetables look after being broiled. Got a little nice blackness to them. It's real good this way. Ever since my wife broiled them the first time, I'm only eating my broccoli broiled. And uh, 12 almonds. So this is meal number two. Meal number three, we got six ounces of chicken we have our veggies of course and a banana so the calories and the macronutrients are on the screen right now this is pretty much meal three this might be my last time holding up the camera so i'm gonna go ahead and explain the last meal of the day 
which will be seven ounces of tilapia, veggies of course, and 10 ounces of sweet potato. A rough 10 to 12 ounces of sweet potato. I always top my sweet potatoes off with peanut butter and I throw a little cinnamon on it. So you see two tablespoons of peanut butter on them. And this just makes the sweet potato 10 times better, man. I recommend you give it a try. But this is meal four and this will be the final meal of the day. I'm also gonna have my green tea, of course. To finish off the night, always finish it off with some green tea. Now I know I told you guys I usually do three shakes, but I don't think I explained it earlier, but today is actually an off day from work and a rest day from the gym. So although I did my fast cardio, I did not go in to lift weights. And also I am down on protein powder. I'm waiting for BPI to send me uh, my five pound tub of I think chocolate brownie um, protein powder. So I'm waiting on that. I'm actually currently out, so that's why all my meals included uh, food choice for protein. So normally I would do three shakes and then three meals, three whole food meals. But this time I had to go ahead and do four. And as you see, I increased my protein intake for the morning. So I did more eggs than usual. So that's going to conclude the video. I hope you guys like this full day of eating. This is just me showing you guys uh, what I'm doing on the low carb day throughout this prep. The final macros for the day are around 250 carbs, 200 protein, and about 50 fats. Don't quote me on that. Can't remember, but that's pretty much how I eat on my low carb day. Tomorrow is a refeed slash cheat meal day. So I'm gonna give me a nice juicy burger tomorrow. And that will be my second cheat meal of this prep. I'm only doing three cheat meals. I did one, I think 10 weeks out. Uh, tomorrow I'll be eight weeks out and then I'll probably do another cheat meal six weeks out and That's it. So hope you enjoyed this four day of eating. I will catch you guys in the next video Thank you for watching